Number 75, use principles of atomic structure to answer each of the following. And then we have letter A. So it says the radius of the calcium atom is 197 p.m., so picometers. But the radius of a Ca2 plus ion is 99 picometers. Account for the difference. Okay, so I think the best way to explain this is by drawing. Now, in this case, we have a calcium ion or a calcium atom, right? And then we'll show what happens when we turn it into a 2 plus. Now, just remember that 2 plus means that we lost two electrons, right? The positive always means that we're losing electrons, we're more positive. And then the negative means that you gain electrons because those electrons are negative. Now, also, calcium is, has a, you know, has a principal quantum number of n equals 4. So it's got four rings technically around the nucleus. So if here is the nucleus, and maybe let's just, you know, draw it out. What a beautiful circle. And then we'll do the same for this one. I mean, technically they should be, you know, the same. So now let's draw out our circles. So this one, oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank goodness for autocorrect. Okay, so that's number one. N equals one. Oh my goodness. N equals two. <laughs> N equals three. Oh, that's actually not that bad. And then N equals four. Not bad. I'm just gonna bring this over. We'll put it down here. All right, so let's have some more fun drawing them out. And now I think that we're gonna get a little bit. Okay, so let's see. N equals one. Whoa, that was pretty good. N equals two. Yikes. Nope, okay. N equals three. Fix it as we go. And then N equals four. <laughs> for as for as much as I think my my handwriting is is good, um, I can't draw circles, and I don't like how you know one is bigger than the other. But um, maybe maybe we could do something about it. Maybe I'll pull this closer. That's pretty on point, right? That's pretty on point. One, two, three. Maybe I can make them the same. Okay, that's a little better. All right. So the only thing that we care about really is the two electrons that we lost. Now, those two electrons, remember, those are the valence. So n equals one, n equals two, n equals three, or maybe I'll just say one, two, three, and four. So we got one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. So the two electrons that the atom has, maybe we'll just put one on top and one on bottom, right? They could be anywhere. And let's just put the two electrons over here for now. Now, when you lose the two electrons, you always lose them from the most outer shell. And that most outer shell is the valence electrons. So in this case, your calcium has two valence electrons. So one's got to go. Goodbye. That's the first one. Let's just pull that in. And then the second one's got to go. Goodbye. And I didn't mean to do that just yet, but as you could see, there are no electrons now in the fourth shell. So does calcium have the fourth N value anymore? Uh-uh. Goodbye. And now it has, you know, all the electrons that it has in N equals three, right? So that's exactly right. The radius, meaning the size. Whenever we think of radius, we just think of size. The size of a calcium atom is 197 picometers, but then the size of the ion, that's the one that has the charge, is lower, which is 99 picometers. Account for this difference? 
it's because you lost the last subshell. And yeah, you lost, or, you know, CA2+, plus, CA2+, plus lost its highest energy level. And when you lose your, you know, highest energy level, you lose size. And if you lose size, you lose radius. And that is basically the end for this question. What'd you think? I hope this helped you out. Thank you for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. Thank you for, you know, coming to the channel. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right. Bye-bye.